everybody, I'm Dr. Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And on this TMI Tuesday, we're getting really personal because for the first time ever, I am showing you my underwear. <laughs> Camera doesn't get any more TMI than that, I don't think. But in order to show you exactly what I thought of the Bambody period panties, I really felt like they needed to be here with me you know, doing their thing. I have real video of me wearing them during my period and kind of vlogged some of my experience during the week about wearing them, what I thought about them, and all that good stuff. I am not being paid to show you these underwear. They were not given to me for free. I bought them with my own money. And this is a true and honest review of if I thought they worked or not. I'm gonna be done being awkward with this intro now and we're just gonna get right into it. So here's what I thought of the Absorbent Midi Brief. Um, I went ahead and got the extra small and I felt like it was a pretty good fit. I'm about 110 pounds. I have a little bit of a booty, not, I wouldn't say a big booty, but either way, you can tell from the video what you think. And I felt, I felt like they fit really well. I've got on my Bam Body size extra small uh, Absorbent Midi Rise Brief. And typically in underwear, I wear a small, like an airy, um, and Victoria's Secret, sometimes extra small, sometimes small, but I went with extra small because they were a lot of smalls, and honestly, I don't feel like they're too small. Um, that's the coverage, but I really wouldn't have wanted them any bigger because then I would have felt like it was loose, and then it wouldn't have, like, captured everything, which is the whole point of these underwear, right? <laughs> um, they do have some seams right here, which... And then in the back as well, in the black, you honestly can't even see those seams. It feels a little weird, like they're boy underwear a little bit, but you can't see them at all. They're not bulky. They're a little bit thicker through here and in the back, but nothing compared to a pad. I'm not the hugest fan of pads because I feel like they feel really bulky, but these just, they really aren't. They feel just like a thicker cotton underwear, I guess, maybe thickness of Maybe a bathing suit, but definitely a different material because they're a cotton. Things I really liked about the brief is they had a really snug fit. They weren't super like cutesy, but I also didn't feel like they looked like granny panties, so I really liked them about them. They had a nice thick crotch area, so I felt like they could really absorb a lot. These could definitely be worn in place of a pad. I wore them for about five hours on the fourth day of my period. I had no leaking through to my underwear. I had no leaking on the sides. They just, they held up really well. Something that is not so good about this pair is they take forever to dry. And so if you want to wear them like multiple days in a row, it almost takes like a full day or well, at least a good eight hours for these to like air dry you're really not supposed to throw them in the dryer so they do take a really long time to dry because they are so thick and absorbent i also tried out the bambody leak proof bikini i don't have them in my hand right now because i just swarm and that's kind of weird so these are the bambody bikini underwear and they're size small they do have again like the lines here where the extra padding is kind of sewn in, but honestly, you really feel it more than you can see it. Um, but yeah, the size small, I feel like fits pretty good. I don't know that I would have wanted to go with the extra small, um, but it is like a little bit saggy in the butt, so we'll see how they hold up. These were definitely not meant to be in place of a pad on a heavy or even really a medium day. These are more made for your lighter days. So I basically wore them as a backup uh, so that if I didn't change my cup soon enough or if I were wearing a tampon and I didn't change that soon enough, it would definitely have caught anything I needed it to catch. I also wore them in a the couple days leading up to my period. For some reason lately, I've been spotting a little bit before my period like really comes on full force and that's kind of annoying to have them staining all my nice everyday underwear. So I wore them leading up to that and then I wore them again um, during my period as like a, a backup. Don't worry, I washed them in between. <laughs> and I felt like they did a really good job as a backup. Now I bought the small and I feel like maybe I should have went with the extra small. They didn't actually have extra small when I bought them. I think that's why I went with small, but it just felt like it wasn't a snug fit, especially I wore them overnight. And when I woke up in the morning, they were kind of loose and there was actually some leakage on the side um, because I guess I must have moved around at night and so it didn't all land in the crotch area. <laughs> where it's supposed to. I told you guys it was gonna be TMI, so sorry, you're here for it. For a hot minute, I questioned like, instead of these period underwear as a backup, like why wouldn't I just get a black pair of underwear that isn't gonna stain easily and that washes really good? 
But then I realized, oh, no, this is why I'm not gonna do that because they do have an extra absorbent layer and so there was no bleeding through like the actual crotch area like has happened in some of my just regular everyday underwear. So let's say I was wearing my menstrual cup, it overflowed or it leaked a little bit and usually that goes through the underwear and onto my pants. That did not happen at all with these underwear because they do have that extra lining there. It's thick. It's meant to catch stuff. So as long as that you have a snug fit, it's not going to leak through to your pants. Overall, here are some of the cons about just the period underwear in general. Uh, probably not specific to Van Body, but just my take on like period underwear in general is that they do take a really long time to dry. And several of the brands that I looked up said you're really not supposed to put them in the dryer. I think it like makes them so they're not as absorbent and they don't last as long. My husband totally threw mine in the dryer the very first time. <laughs> First time I washed them, he was trying to be so helpful, which was so sweet. They don't like fall apart or anything, but I think for the longevity of them, you don't want to put them in the dryer. So you need a lot of pairs of them if you're going to be wearing them throughout your whole period, and especially if you're going to use them in place of a pack. You can definitely do that with these underwear, especially the brief that have the more absorbent um, crotch area. I wore it, like I said, in place of a pad and it was totally fine. However, it felt a little weird to me to go to the bathroom because I go to the bathroom every couple hours and I wouldn't need to change my pad or the underwear every couple hours. So I just like pulled them back up and it just felt a little bit weird like putting something that had like wet blood on it back on. Eventually I got used to it, but it wasn't like, I don't know. For me, every time I went to the bathroom when I wore pads, it was like I wanted to change it and just start fresh again. And you would need a lot of pairs of underwear in order to do that because like I said, they take a really long time to dry. And then the last kind of just period underwear in general is you have to mess with period blood a lot more. After you're done wearing them, you're supposed to rinse them out or soak them and keep them wet until you're gonna wash them. You really don't wanna let them dry with the blood in it because then more likely you're gonna have staining and you're gonna have smells and things happen. So that's definitely something that is gonna take extra time if you decide to go the period underwear route. I definitely think these period underwear are worth investing in, especially something as cheap as the Bam Body ones, which were only like $15. I think they even had free shipping on one pair. Also, when I ordered two pair, they sent me a coupon and was like $5 off your next order. I kind of have to get another pair now, right? Either way, they were really great for what they can do for the price. Now, would I pay $50 for a pair of period underwear? Uh, probably not because I typically like to wear um, menstrual cups, discs, or tampons, and not usually just pads. But if you're a pad person, I think these are really great. I think they're really great too. Uh, I remember being in high school and like when you had gym class and you had to change or sports and it was really awkward for me, which I guess it shouldn't be awkward, but it, it was. And it might be for you too, or maybe for your daughters. And to have like the pad wings showing or like very obviously be able to tell that you're wearing a pad and you're on your period and I just was always very private about that and especially in school when I was younger and I just didn't want everyone to know so these are really really great for that because literally no one can tell unless they were like a centimeter from your underwear and maybe they could see like an extra seam that would really be the only way they could tell so totally perfect in that scenario I also think they're really perfect if you're someone that Maybe you work at a hospital and it's really hard to get a break or um, you're going to be out running errands all day and you're not sure if you're going to be at a bathroom, especially in the time of COVID when bathrooms have been closed, <laughs> things like that, to be able to change your um, tampon or you wear cups and it's going to be really awkward to change that in a public restroom and you want to throw on a pair of your period underwear as like a backup. That way when it fills up, you haven't wore it like the eight or 12 hours it's recommended, but you know that you're gonna leak through before that time. You have these period underwear on and they're definitely going to protect you. They're gonna keep all leaks inside. You could really wear white pants out if you're gonna go with the really absorbent ones and they have a nice fit. Um, you could wear them and it would definitely be a great backup. I can literally remember in high school changing my tampon between classes, which was a struggle because we had four minutes to go to our locker or go to the bathroom, get our next books, whatever, the whole thing. So I did that, I changed my tampon and I was literally bleeding through, like I felt a gush coming out before the bell rang. And we only had 42, I think 42, 42 minute periods, not periods, that was a weird use of the word periods, 42 minutes between classes. So literally in 42 minutes, I went straight through a whole tampon. These underwear would have been amazing because I wouldn't have felt like, oh, I can't wear leggings or tight pants because, you know, pad lines, whatever. That was just me. I felt self-conscious about that. 
you should, probably shouldn't, but I just did. I could have had like a tampon or a cup in and I could have worn these period underwear and it would have saved me a lot of embarrassment because I definitely bled through a lot in high school when I had a really heavy flow. The other people I think this would be super, super helpful for, and I'm definitely gonna do this if I have another baby, is to wear them in the postpartum. So you know postpartum when you're bleeding and you're not supposed to wear tampons or anything else that is inserted vaginally and it like goes away, but then it comes back and then you've stained your good underwear again and it's just really annoying because it comes and goes for what feels like forever. These underwear are perfect for that because they feel very much like regular underwear, um, but you don't have to worry about staining your nice underwear. So I guess that only leaves one more question and that is, would I buy these period underwear again? Yeah, yeah, I think I would and I actually think I will buy a few more pairs. When I started diving into period products, I realized there were a ton of options out there I had no idea about and you may not either. <laughs> this video over here includes 10 things other than pads and tampons, so there's 12 things total that you could be using when you're on your period. So if you are unhappy or want to know what your options are, this video is going to be really, really helpful. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on this TMI Tuesday. It's been a blast like it always is. I will see you all in the next video.